Hey guys, Needless Space here. Welcome to the channel with fast and easy guides to get straight to the point. This video we're going to be doing something slightly different. So there's been a lot of talk about a new sniper rifle, the Aikilo sniper rifle and its DPS potential. So we're going to break down the comparison between it and the most used sniper in endgame PvE, Whisper of the Worm. Real quick, first off, I am still doing a giveaway that concludes when I hit 10,000 subscribers. If you want to find out more about that, stick around for later in the video. So the new Aikilo Sniper is actually a reintroduced weapon from the past Warmine expansion, but it has a complete set of new perks, which basically change the weapon entirely. You can get your hands on it through the new Exodus Umbral Engrams that were first introduced in last week's mission when you complete a weekly bounty for Sloan on Titan. After that, you can get them directly through the Prismatic Recaster. So there's a couple roles that will do very well with DPS and PvE, but in my opinion, the best ones to stick with are Tactical Mag, Triple Tap, and High Impact Reserves. This is going to extend your magazine size with Tactical Mag so you can squeeze in more shots before you have to reload. Fourth Times the Charm can also be a good replacement for Triple Tap, but that's only if you can consistently land all of your shots as precision damage, which is extremely hard to do efficiently with a rapid fire frame sniper. Most players will find triple tap to be much more forgiving and the high impact reserves perk is going to allow our final shots to do more damage. So I took the Aikilo sniper into the tribute hall to do a little bit of testing and it took about seven seconds between my first shot reloading until I could fire my next shot. This is going to give me a great example for how much damage I can put out per second over a long period of time. So in that seven seconds, the Aikilo Sniper did 100,017 damage, and that equals out to about 14,288 damage per second. Now this is if you land all your shots as precision shots as quickly as possible, which is actually extremely hard to do with a rapid fire frame sniper. Now I did the same sort of test with Whisper of the Worm, and in 5 seconds, I did 125,636 damage, which equals out to about 25,127 damage per second. So in order to get that kind of DPS with the Aikilos, I had to land 10 precision shots back to back, and in order to get that sort of output with the Whisper, all I had to land were 7 precision shots, with much more time in between each shot, to get the precision hit. So that equals out to about 57% more damage. And with plenty of time in between each shot to line up that precision hit. So not only does the Whisper output much more damage per second, it is also much more user friendly. Not to say Aikilos isn't a great sniper, but if you're putting it up against something like Whisper of the Worm, it still does not match up. Now you might argue Whisper is also in another league because it is an exotic weapon, and if you already have another exotic in your build but still want to run a sniper, Aikilos is still a great option. But is it the new sniper DPS king? Absolutely not. I know this video is kind of short, but that's how we do it for the most part on this channel. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm still doing a giveaway once I hit 10,000 subscribers. In order to be part of that, make sure you just leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below hashtag Aikilos. Thank you guys so much for showing all this support to the channel. I couldn't tell you how much I appreciate it. I will catch you guys in the next one, and as always, good luck and have fun.